Hey everyone, Mitch here. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can set up an encounter like this in practically no time at all using Outbow Rodeo and Dungeon Draft. So let's get right into it. Okay, here we are in Dungeon Draft and I'm just going to click the new button here. Uh, here we can set up the width and height for our map. Um, this doesn't really matter for us at the moment, so I'm just going to say it's uh, kind of square. Okay, it's loading our map. I'm going to zoom out here uh, and let's generate a dungeon. Let's try and get one that I'm kind of happy with. Yeah, this one seems good. So I'm just going to hit finish and now let's make this a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to grab our scatter tool. Let's look for some rubble. Okay, this is looking good. I'll Highlight a few of those, increase my spread a bit, and start laying down some rubble. Here we go. All right. Uh, and now it'll be pretty dark in here, so might as well chuck in some torches. Let's grab, yep, this one. And we're just going to align that maybe here and one over here. Maybe this room has a couple, one here, one on this side and our final room. We have one here, one here and one in the corner here. And then one thing we can do is we can actually light this so we can go into our effects lighting. Put in some more lights here. Nice. Okay. One, two. All right, I'm happy with that. Uh, now we need a way for our players to get into the dungeon. So here I am just going to select the portal and we're going to get, uh, let's say, in one of these doors. And I'm just going to place it. Where am I going to place it? Sure, let's go here. Uh, and now we have that. I can look for, let's say, some stairs here. And this one seems good. Rotate that. So we're walking downwards into our little dungeon. All right. Now we're just going to connect these walls here. So to do that, we can grab the wall tool and let's find some concrete. Okay, and we'll just grab that, there, there, and finally here, then hit the answer. All right. So now we have the basic layout of the room and a way for our players to enter. Now let's go and export. Okay, to do that, we'll go up here and just click the export button here. Uh, JPEG is fine for us. Everything, all these settings seem fine as well. 70 pixels per grid is perfect for our web radio as well. Let's hit export. And I'll just name it Dungeon here. Okay, now we can just head back into Albert Rodeo. And once we're here, we can hit the Select Map button here and then go back to our folder where we created our map and simply drag it in. One thing to notice is that our grid has already been set up for us, as you can see here. And this is done through Albert Rodeo's machine learning network that runs whenever you upload a map and will automatically find out the grid size for you. Okay, to use this map, we can just hit select. And now we can grab our tokens, drag them in. Our players are sized correctly because the grid was set up for us. Uh, we could grab, let's say, maybe a slime here and there's the final boss. Then maybe in the second chamber, there's some undead that come out. And there we go. As simple as that. We have a map generated for us in pretty much no time at all. And we're ready to run whatever encounter we need to here. So if I wanted to now, I could invite my players to the game. They could see the map, move the tokens, and we could run this dungeon however we want to. Okay, with that, we have learned how to use Dungeon Draft with Albert Rodeo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.